<laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's your Thursday going? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking back on the season of blind spotting, what would you say you value most about playing Ashley? That's a good question. Um, I think a how open she is emotionally. I think to be able to see a woman go through her emotional roller coasters and to be able to be vulnerable and share to the audience her honesty and her pure emotions and still come out an amazing mother and a strong mother and you know, almost like a lion with her cub and she'll do anything, you know, for her family. Um, I just think is, is amazing to see. And even when she is strong, she still allows herself to feel what she needs to feel, whether it's sharing it through the audience, through verse or, you know, um, standing up to some of her family members, you know, um, she, she stays true to what she feels and she's not afraid to, to, you know, share her feelings. Because how connected do you feel to Ashley? Were you able to put some of your input into the character and how she's portrayed? Oh yeah, absolutely. I've, you know, I've, I've had Ashley in my mind for a couple of years and to be able to do the, the movie, you know, at, at first, so I, I had a little bit of an idea of who she was and, you know, to be able to kind of evolve her backstory and who she is as a woman and throughout the show, find out more about her and you know, have so many conversations with the producers and writers of the show of what she would do, what she wouldn't do. You know, I really had a say, say in that. And, you know, my opinion was, was valued and was, was listened to. So, you know, I had a huge part in, in making Ashley and, and who she is. Because one of the unique elements I felt in the show is just seeing Ashley and her inner thoughts, you know, through the verse and through the music. Was that challenging for you to try to do those types of scenes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was, you know, that that was definitely a challenging part um, of the show and, and pushed me. I've never done anything like that. I don't think we've ever seen anything like that on TV before. And so kind of really analyzing these verses and, and what it means and making sure that people understand what she's saying and it comes across the right way and, you know, saying these words and doing it justice um, and also not coming off as this kind of fake performance and making sure that it works with everything else that goes on within the show. Um, it was a great challenge, but it, it was a good challenge. You know, it was like challenge accepted. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's the challenge that you want as an artist, you know, to push you. So it pushed me in many ways. And, you know, I, I say it all the time, but it's, it's one of my favorite things that Ashley does in the show. Why do you think it's important for audience to see that type of different side and element to Ashley? Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's important, you know, Ashley is dealing with a loss almost and dealing with a sadness and a, and a depression throughout the show. And the show is, it is a comedy, you know, um, but we're talking about very serious issues. And I think it's important to kind of see somebody so open like this. And if anybody else is dealing with some sort of sadness, whatever it is, that seeing somebody work through their emotions and getting it out in some sort of way is healthy. You know, it's almost like these verses are her therapy, you know, and it, and it kind of gets her through the rest of the episode. Um, so I think it's, it is important for people to see that and then to see her kind of gather herself together again after she's let something out 
you know, to be able to stand in front of her son and not crumble in front of him and be strong for him. You know, I think she's able to do that because she's released something, you know? Um, and I think that's kind of a, a, a healthy thing to see on TV. Because mm-hmm. last episode, we saw Sean in this sort of weird, you know, stance after seeing Miles in prison. He was sort of like, um, saying like he was worried that Miles wouldn't be his dad anymore. Do you think that this experience of seeing his dad in this element has changed Sean uh, completely? Absolutely. I mean, how could it not? You know, he's he's still a very young kid and there's there's so many things that he doesn't understand. And I think that is what was burdening Ashley for so long throughout the show is not only how do I tell my son that his dad is in prison, but how is he going to react? Will he understand? What do I do when I take him to jail? What is that experience going to be like? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but I think also the beauty of the show is to show the community And this community that Ashley has, again, is not perfect. It isn't the ideal situation, Mm -hmm. but people come through for her in a way that she never thought. And I think Ashley's blind spot of the show in the beginning is that she has to do this on her own and she has to do everything on her own. And I think she starts to realize towards the end of the show that she doesn't. She has people there, you know, even Earl who is this, you know, um, you know, Candace's roommate, Janelle's roommate, and he's become part of the family and was, was able to connect in, you know, in the seventh episode was able to connect with Sean, you know, and, and get him that, and I actually couldn't do that, you know, but he was able to kind of break through. So it's, it's just beautiful to see that, there is community there and how important that community is, you know, and that support system of, you know, you don't have to do this alone. You can reach out to people and let people come in and help you and get you through a hard situation like this. Yes. Cause from the beginning, I felt like Trish and Ashley weren't in the best predicament. Like they were okay. They tolerate each other, but now I feel like they're kind of mutual with each other. What has been the, what do you find the most interesting about their relationship or the challenging part of it? Well, you know, you're, you're, everybody's not best buddies with everybody in their family. You know, there's always that one person or, or whatever that is. I think the interesting backstory of Trish and Ashley is, you know, Ashley was, is basically like Trish's older sister and has seen her grow up into the woman that she is now. And Trish constantly wants the old Ashley back. She wants that. She's like, what happened to that girl that you were? You know, the girl that'll fight anybody, the girl that like doesn't care, you know? And now she's like, I'm a grown woman. I can't do that anymore. I'm a mother. You know, I can't be that that girl that, you know, I I used to be. And that comes off as fake to Trish. Um, But you know, what's beautiful about the whole situation is that they love each other. It's deep love. It's tough love. They get on each other's nerves. They push each other's buttons. Um, But, and they're also dealing with a loss in totally different ways and how they deal with trauma and how they deal with depression and how they deal with miles being gone. They handle it differently and they happen to live under the same roof. So, you know, to see their kind of relationship blossom, the more that they understand each other is also a beautiful thing to see. Because what episode or scene in the show while you're filming stuck with you the most? There, I mean, the scene that I I personally did was the trashing of the hotel. Um, that was the second day of shooting. Um, And, you know, that was a challenge in its own ways. I think there is a scene that uh, Benjamin Earl Turner does in the season finale that just absolutely blew me away. And um, 
just makes me so proud of the show and um he absolutely kills it um which I can't say yet <laughs> uh, I don't want to give anything away but I mean there's so many beautiful moments from the choreography to um how funny it is the writing and then how you know it'll just make you cry to you know some of the problems that that we have here in America so the show I'm just so proud of this show I'm proud of everyone involved and um you know we we poured our hearts into this show and and I think I think that shows and this show is a it's a piece of art you know mm-hmm. going forward what do you hope the show explores more in season two um <laughs> there I, I kind of know a little bit of like where it wants to go so I just don't I don't want to like <laughs> give it away you know I just yeah. hope I just hope people fall more in love with these characters and you know we get to branch off a little bit into other people's journeys and and what that means and you know kind of where does Miles and Ashley go from here um you know is is Ashley always going to be responsible I mean there's like there's so many things that that can happen um but I you know I hope for season two and you know, I, I know we'll, we will kill it if, if it does happen, so. <laughs> From Hamilton to Freeway Sean to now Blind Spotting, what has been the biggest lesson you have learned from filming these projects? Um, I think kind of how impactful art can be and how it can help people and, and change lives. And, you know, people pay attention to entertainment. And so I think, you know, we have a duty and kind of like an obligation to um, kind of say and talk about the times. Mm -hmm. And there's so many different ways that you can do that in so many different mediums. But it, it just showed me how powerful art is and how important art is. Um, and it's 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 a life changing thing, and people pay attention, and people wake up and listen, and you know it it can cause change, you know, and and good change. Recently, I saw on your Instagram that you finished making your album. How is that journey like? Um, any singles coming out soon? <laughs> yes, um, not not any specific date, but I. I went away to a house and did a writing camp for a week and came back with a whole entire album. And I literally did that a couple of days ago. I just got back and I've been, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I, you know, I had room for my own creative projects. And so I, I kind of went in on that and I'm, I'm really happy and proud and um, of the music that I left with. And, and I hope, people will connect to it and dance in their living room and, you know, lift up some spirits and, um, you know, have a good time with it. Well, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. You too. Where is the bus? Where is the bus? You said we was mine. Where is the bus?